Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. In this video, we are going to take a close look at the Pike 8 10 inch and 8 inch, but also the Pike 8 arcade control. But now in 2021, I think a lot of people have been forgotten about this. I just want to do a recap of this product or products in this case, because I think it's a very unique product. And if you want to learn something about the Pi and you just want to do a DIY for yourself, it's pretty cool. And I really enjoyed having this product in my collection and I really enjoyed also building and messing around with the Pi. And that's the reason I want to bring it back in 2021. And overall, like the Pi console wasn't weird and I can still remember that I needed to squeeze in everything, like all the components, because it was just a little bit too tiny to stick everything in. But then overall, like the idea behind it is pretty cool. You can make yourself like a mini Pandora Pi box and the buttons and the joystick were really good quality. And I can say that I really enjoyed playing some fighting games. Okay guys, so we're starting off with the Pi Kate Arcade, the 8 and the 10 inch DIY kits. So the reason I am slapping these together is very simple because the DIY kit or the body itself is exactly the same. The biggest difference was the 8 and the 10 inch display. So I noticed like with both of these machines, the assembly was exactly the same also with the internal parts and the PCB that I got with it. I must say that I really enjoyed putting it together. The biggest problem was the 10 inch edition because the 10 inch was like, you did see that they did some minor modifications to slapping this bigger screen in. But you can see that the 10 inch is way more colorful than the 8 inch display. But I must say like giving this tiny machine an arcade feeling, I do like the bezel around the 8 inch. So for me, it's a mixed feeling and to say like which one is the best. Okay, so here having a side by side of the internal part, it's a little bit of a cable nightmare because cable management in these things are not the best. But you can see like they did some modification with the Plexi for putting the 10 inch screen in. It's quite an annoying to, it was all like figuring out because the manual of the 10 inch was not, let's say, improved or they didn't change it out. So we need to just gamble and mess around like tussling, finding out which way you need to put the Plexi to put the monitor in. No, like, like the measurements are exactly the same when it comes to the cabinets and also when you're looking at the position of all the buttons, nothing has been really changed out here. I found it like the biggest disappointment. But yeah, you can see like side by side again, like the 10 inch is so much more colorful and looks so much better. Okay, so how about the Pi kit and the DIY part? So I do like this device for putting it together, even if the 10 inch edition is just a freaking nightmare with the display. But it is more like a case if you know how to assemble it, it's going to be very easy. So in general, like they did some extra letter how to say, hey okay, guys, you're having 10 inch display now, you need to put it like this in it. But I found it not very easy to do. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of goodies. There were some stickers, a big poster, you name it. There was so much stuff that you were getting extra with it. And of course, a different bezel, because the bezel needs to be thinner than the eight inch edition. So everything was packed up very well. They divided everything very nicely over the boxes. So this is the box for the joystick and all the buttons. And let's see what we're going to get more. Oh, and of course the speaker. And this thing is quite loud, seriously. So it has a lot of bass, mid and high. So the audio itself was very good. So another box with the 10 inch display in it. And with the eight inch, we're going to get the same box, but only with eight inch. Here we're going to get the PCB that is needed for the input and the controls for the monitor itself because it's separately and you need to attach it with some acrylic. Okay, next box. Let's see what we're going to get. They're going to get the biggest one, the orange one. No, no, let's get this one. The fixings, so all the nuts and bolts that you're going to need for assembly is going to be in here. And even some extra goodie like a pin. I never really use these things, but it's pretty cool. You're going to get all these extra goodies. Okay, let's check out the big box. And here we are going to get the cabinet. Yep, and all the parts that we're going to need for making the cabinet itself. And a lot of plastic, fantastic. Yep, and bull wrap. So beside the monitor, it was a little bit of a puzzling how to put it in. I must say that I had a lot of fun putting this device together, but there's only one thing that is really concerning and it annoys me like big time. So if you're going to assemble the Pi with the special PCB on top, then we're going to connect with the GPO pins. The downside to this was like configuring it with the Pi itself was just a nightmare. So what I did, 
I just basically got and pre-installed from PyCade itself. Didn't contain any games, but it has like the Pi software, including the control board drivers, so we can just have like a plug and play solution. But overall, I like the way how they made this. Both candidates had the option for two extra bots at the front for select and start, and at the side, we can configure, configure these for a pinball machine and, of course, the on and off switch. As far as I know, it, this thing has also a safe shutdown. So, a lot of features packed into this tiny Pi Kate machine, and I really appreciate it for what it is. Okay, guys, so for next up, we're going to check the Pi Kate console. So, that was more like the second product they released, or third, depends how you look at it. Basically, it released two arcade machines and one PiCade console. So far, I know they didn't release any new products. But the idea behind it is that you don't want to have mini arcade console itself. You just want to have like a plug and play device with a Pi inside. And this was a really great way to go to. And overall, I had a lot of fun putting this together. The only thing I find really annoying because it's so tiny. Oh man, you needed to squeeze in every freaking cable. It needed to be a little bit bigger. But when you're looking at the parts and the quality, everything was the same. With the hood, with the buttons, the joystick, they didn't downgrade anything. And that's what I really appreciated about this. So if you're going to buy a PiCade, doesn't matter what version you're going to get. One of the three, you're going to get the same quality joystick and the same quality buttons. The first thing that you need to start is peeling off this piece of plastic. And I can tell you, it was just really annoying. But the plexi itself was very nice, high quality, thick plastic. And that is something that I find really cool. I also like that, like I say, the minor things are going to get high quality. So here I have like a brain fart, wicked. Yep, you need to put it differently. So. And the final result is the same like, of course, with the mini arcade. You need to put a piece of paper beneath it. It looks kind of cool. So putting it together, we had a lot of screws. We did have a lot of parts. But I already mentioned like what I find really annoying, like putting this thing together and getting all the freaking all the freaking parts together it's like the shell itself it's like one two three it's super easy and it's not really hard but they needed to make it a little bit better and bigger because i can't get the freaking cables to get squeezed in and just keep saying it because it is also i noticed like some paint errors with my version over here just wanted to point it out so it's not flawlessly so i was using the raspberry pi 3 yeah if you can use the Raspberry Pi 4, that is something we need to check out in the future if you want to. Because the problem is, I don't know if the PCB is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 or did they even made an update when it comes to the drivers. So for these videos, I just use the Raspberry Pi 3. For most games, it's just fine. Of course, with the Pi 4, we can play PlayStation Portable or a lot of games and Dreamcast. But with the Pi 3, we can't. So here we're having the final assembly. So all the things that we had in the arcade are now in this freaking thing. Of course, beside the monitor, of course, and the PCB for it. But you can see like it is really tight and it's you need to be very careful if you want to put it back together. But then overall, like putting it together was super easy. After that, it was just fun plug and play. Everything set up. I was using the same Pi software. So the drivers were set up for the button layout and everything. So we can start playing and adding some stuff to it. But I'm curious if they're going to release an official Raspberry Pi 4 model. And if they do this, I think that would be pretty cool. Because Raspberry Pi 4 has so much potential when it comes to emulating games. I already mentioned quickly, like we can emulate PlayStation Portable, second Dreamcast on the Pi 4. PlayStation Portable, it's mixed bag, but still, it has a better performance than the Raspberry Pi 3. And that would be great to slap this thing in a pie gate. I think in general, like the pie gates are even cool to get in 2021 if you want to mess around with the Raspberry Pi and of course a DOI project. So this is like a full DOI. You need to mess around with the pie and you need to mess around with the casing itself. So they are like very easy ways to play. Of course, you can also get yourself like a pie based mini arcade from China, AliExpress. There are a lot of great ones for sale that I also want to review here on the channel in the future. But for now, we're going to stick it with the PiCade. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family. If you like content like these, subscribe, hit that little bell and give this video a like. And I will see you in the next video.